Hey everyone. In this video, I want to walk through a capability of Azure AD so users can sign on knowing nothing but their cell phone number and getting a text message. Now, ordinarily, if I think about Azure AD and users, we have our Azure Active Directory and users have accounts. Now, they have a username. That username is that user principal name, the UPN, that they need to know to sign in. Often it's the same as their email address, but sometimes it isn't. And so you can also enable users to sign in using their email address. That's an option we can go ahead and configure. Now, in combination with that, then we can think about, well, they enter a password, which on its own is really not very good. We might combine that with something like, well, an MFA, so then we do a text message or a call, which is okay. Or we can kind of go better. We can think about, well, the Authenticator app. Um, maybe even we think about some kind of token. Or maybe we kind of go passwordless. This kind of grand ultimate goal where we have sort of hello for business, um, we have kind of the FIDO keys. And again, we can use that authenticator application. Now, for all of these, the, the user, they, they need to understand their, their username. Now, I may have a portion of the population where, you know, that, that doesn't really make sense. Um, maybe it's frontline workers, it's maybe people in a store, in a factory, whatever. They don't really use the IT systems very much. They have their phone, they know their phone number. They don't really want to bother about having to know a password or having to know their UPN. They don't have an email address. They just have their phone. And so one of the things that you can now do for those people, I can actually say, well, hey, look, you can essentially have your phone number as what you can actually sign in with, and then you'll get a text message with a code. And that's what you can use to sign in. So all I need to know is my phone number and be able to receive a text message. Now this is something I have to enable on my Azure AD tenant, and today it's not compatible with kind of MFA. That's in preview right now, um, that may change. So I would not want to use this for anything that's really privileged or secure. This really is for those scenarios where I have some kind of frontline worker that just needs to maybe access uh, maybe a basic team site or maybe a, a time card application. But it gives them a very simple way to actually be able to authenticate. So what does this actually look like? Now, in terms of licensing, today what they're saying is this will be an Azure AD P1 license or above. So that could come from just a direct Azure AD P1 license. Uh, it could be part of EMS, kind of E3, M365, etc. But you need that license. One of the nice things, and I'll show this, I don't actually have to use special URLs um, for this. It's going to be kind of this globally unique, the phone number, really that person should be the only one that has that phone number. For the Office apps, I think it's Teams today and not the others, but again, this is preview, I think it would change over time. So the first thing to do is we actually have to enable this. So if I jump over to my Azure AD tenant, which is what you can see here, if I go down to my security option, so I'm right here, if I select that, what we can see is we have our authentication methods. So I'm going to select this, and what I'm turned on is this text message. Now, right now, you can see it's in preview. And I've enabled it only for one user. So I have enabled it, and I've not even done it for a group. I've enabled it for a user called Texty Texterson, uh, obviously a very real user, um, but I've gone ahead and enabled it for that user. Now, once you've enabled it for the user, obviously you need to set them up with an authentication method of the phone. Now, I could do this at the regular Azure AD portal. I can go in 
and for Texty Texterson, which we can see here, we have this authentication methods. And from here, I could select it. And what I need to do is I'll actually populate this um, with the phone number. Now, this needs to include the country code. So I'm going to take this and paste it in. It wants a space in the configuration. And then I would hit save. So I've configured that now with a phone number. Now realize, this is compatible with things like the administrative units. So again, if this was frontline workers, I may not want this globally configured via a global admin or someone with global credentials. I could have like a store manager. So I could think about these particular accounts I could add into a particular administrative unit. And then maybe that store manager I could give permissions on to maybe manage the users in that administrative unit. So I could actually delegate that and then I could use kind of the My Staff portal to actually set that number for them. Or the user themselves could actually go to their My Profile and if they've already added a phone number, they can say, hey, I want to enable this for SMS based sign in. So I can do that. So in this case, if I jump back to my Azure AD, for this user, I have actually put them in an administrative unit. So if I go and look at my administrative units, I've got this testing AU, and there's Texty Texterson. And then I gave an authenticate administrator um, to Clark Kent. So both Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne can manage those. So as Clark Kent, notice I have this my staff, aka.ms slash my staff. It gives me this simple interface to manage my users. So in this case, I could go to my testing AU, there's Texty Texterson, and from there, there's the phone number, but I could do things like I could edit on their behalf, I could remove the number, etc. So I have that capability. So now this user actually has that configured. So what is their end user actual experience? So I'm just going to open up a new in private window. And I'm just going to go to myapps.microsoft.com. Now I am Texty Texterson. All I know is my phone number. Now remember, I just did the generic portal. I'm not saying slash sappletech.net or anything else. And I would just type in my phone number with the country code. So we just need to do a little bit of education. That's what you're going to use. And hit next. I'm telling them it's a work account. And now it's texted me a code. So I would now go to my fancy phone. And I would go and look, well, what is that code? So it sent me a text message. I would paste in the code. Oh, and it's locked out my account. So that's unfortunate. Oh, because I actually, from a security perspective, actually went and locked that account because it's what I consider not super secure. So if I actually go back and edit the account, unblock user sign-ins, and now Texty Texterson. Now it's asking, do I want to stay signed in? I'll say no. Um, but essentially, that's it. Now again, it's going through kind of at this point, hey, more information, and this was probably going to error anyway because I have other things set up about MFA and requirements. But you get the idea of that logon experience for these users, all I had to know was my phone number. So for those kind of frontline workers, um, if I want them to just have to know kind of their phone number and not mess around knowing a UPN or an email, having to think about a separate password, uh, now I can just light this up. So with my phone and receiving a text message, I can authenticate and access those services. So I hope this was useful as always. If it was, um, a like, subscribe, comment, and share would be appreciated. And until next time, take care.